seems like what the whole point we're talking about is this basic teaching we have of a don't know mind. Mm -hmm. We want to know, we think we know, we think we're supposed to know. There's all of this bias towards knowing, mm -hmm. but we don't really know. <laughs> so we have this radical teaching, which is how about admitting the truth that we don't know and go from there. And that if we really live that way, it changes everything. That's what everybody's saying, that once we really get that we don't know, and it doesn't mean we're stupid, it just opens things up. Don't know doesn't mean stupid, it means what is it? Suddenly our eyes are open, our, our, we're vibrating with energy because we wonder, what? Rather than, oh yeah, I know that. So Suzuki Roshi's quote, since I used, quoted him once before tonight, was, a beginner's mind is wide open and questioning. An expert's mind is closed. I already know. I don't have to pay attention. I don't have to listen to you because I already know. And you fall asleep. So this not knowing actually gives us life. and gives vibrancy and energy to the world we live in. This kind of, I know, and then everything shuts down, and we get stuck. And yet, all the signals from everything around us say we're supposed to know. And the competition is who knows the most. But look at the result. We fill our minds up with all this stuff, and it gets stale and dead. Not knowing is what opens us up and becomes alive. Mm -hmm. So there's, in, in Buddhism and in Zen, there's a lot of different ways to talk about this very same thing. Sometimes we call it a don't know mind, sometimes we call it a beginner's mind, sometimes we call it a, one, a mind that's wonder, a before thinking mind. Mm -hmm. it, it's all comes down to this. <laughs> Clear it away. Return to zero. Then, what do we see? What do we smell? What do we taste? What do we touch? Everything is truth. But what we know blocks the truth. Returning to not knowing opens us up. 